This is a Govi H5074 thermohygrometer. Unlike the other thermohygrometers, this one takes a rather large button cell. You can see here, this is a CR2477. To set the device up, it's going to come with a pull tab. You should just be able to pull the tab out. If it's hard to come out, go ahead and take the back off. Once the battery's in the device, go to the device menu in the Govi app, click the plus sign. You can add the device by either scanning for nearby devices or searching for it by name. Once the app has located the device, go ahead and click on the device. Once connected, you can name it if you wish. Once the device is paired with the Govi app, go ahead and hit the configure button. If the device needs a firmware update, go ahead and update it. This one has already been updated. This device does seem to support auto run features, which is the automation. However, it needs to be paired with a gateway before we can test out those features. So to pair it with a gateway, go back to the devices menu, click on the gateway icon, select a gateway, and then manage sub devices. The list of available devices will be below. It may ask you to do a network inspection. Go ahead and complete that. Now that with the device added to a gateway, we can go ahead and set up automation. So go to the automation tab, click the plus sign next to auto run, and then under the if clause, we can select the device and we can choose temperature higher, temperature lower, humidity higher, or humidity lower. So it's currently reading 63.9. So we'll go to automation, click the run, click if, temperature, is above 66 degrees, then we'll turn the right socket on. And before we save it, we have to name it. So, and save it. Now that the automation is saved, we'll go ahead and heat up the temperature sensor and the light went on. It's currently reading 70.8 degrees. We're going to go to the automation tab, click the plus sign next to auto run. We're going to choose low temp. And we're going to go if, choose the device, temperature lower than 70, then turn off. Now we'll see if we can get the device to cool off here by shaking it. And there we go. The light's turned off. If you like this video, check out my Govi playlist, where I've got quick setup guides on other Govi products.